Ladies and gentlemen, Candy Vin the Gadget God here, and I just got the brand new Apple Airport Extreme Time Capsule. We're going to do an unboxing, I'm going to give you a tour of the product, tell you all of its specifications. So, um, this is actually the box it came in, it came in a box in this box, here's the model number, so uh, if you order one, you're going to receive it in this box, and when you open it, you can see it's got a, you know, it's, it's in there nice and apple slick. So when you pop it open, it kind of slides the product out. But uh, enough about that. Just another interesting thing that Apple likes to do. So this box has weight to it. I would even say this is heavy. So, Airport Extreme Time Capsule version. This is the two terabyte. I didn't think I needed to go too ballistic with more than two terabytes. Um, just a nice, cool Apple logo. On the back, this is really um, everything you would need to know about the product. I'll tell you that in a second. Another Apple logo, some junk on the bottom. Um, so let's get to the specifications before we open up the box. So really, this is what you're going to want to know. Let me just uh, refocus the camera for you real quick. It's got three gigabit Ethernet LAN cables. So that's like any wireless router is going to have a bunch of Ethernet ports on it so you can connect it to other devices. So this one has three on it, um, a USB 2 port, a gigabit Ethernet WAN, that's what you're going to connect to your actual modem that you get from Comcast or whatever, and then there's your power port. Um, and then we can see up here, it's got automatic wireless backup. This one is so new that it has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, which is the newest of the new it's the absolute brand spanking new Wi-Fi standard. Um, but this device also has support for all the other ones like A, B, G, and N. Um, it has six antennas in it. So it has three for the AC and three for the other ones, which means you're going to get extra awesome um, connection, really wide range, and it's supposed to be three times faster than whatever the old one was that you had, at least three times faster. So, um, also easy setup using an app on your Mac or your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So let's actually open up this bad boy. Um, and like I said, it's heavy. Let me just get a little uh, little knife here, and I call scissors knives. Apparently, it's the it's the best way to open this pig. Let's do it down here on the butt. Oops. Focus. Steady. Oh, look, the plastic's coming off. Take that plastic off. All right. And oh, look at this. It wants to come out like a like a genie in a bottle. Oh, my luck! This thing comes crashing down. So um, let's talk a little bit about the design we got here. This thing's it's very tall, um, probably the tallest router you're ever going to see um, in there. There's some extra space, so there's going to be a power cord. I'll show you that in a second, but um, it's crazy tall. And they didn't just do that. Also on the bottom, you got this nice little pad with air vents, so there's clearly some heavy-duty work going on in there. Here's your ports. This has plastic wrapped around it, which I won't take off right now, but... Um, Again, these are the ones that you can connect uh, Ethernet cable to and then connect it to your device. This is the one that you're going to connect right to your modem. And then the USB port for, you know, you put a printer in there, um, for example. But let's just look at this, this, tall, this tall drink of water. Let me refocus the camera on it a little bit. Um, but the reason that it's so tall is because that allows it to get a wider range. If it's really flat, then it's going to be setting out almost... Uh, you know, I guess you could say a sideways signal. Now, since it's up higher, it's sending out the signal up higher. Um, and it also takes up less desk space. You know, the old ones were almost like you squished it down, so it's got a wide base. Now it's tall and skinny, so not only does it look cool, but it takes up less space on your desk. And, um, it, I mean, to be honest, it looks crazy cool. I thought it was going to be too tall. It looks crazy cool. In here, it's saying, designed by Apple in California. That's now their signature trademark. They love letting everybody see that. Here's your power cord, two prong, which is nice, and it's long. It's actually double wrapped around here, 
not sure how they did that. That is beautiful, but this is a long cord. You're going to have no problem plugging that in wherever you want. And uh, the other thing in here is just a startup guide, pretty standard. And this will, you know, this will tell you how to set it up. So um, if anybody has any questions, definitely post them down below. I'm going to be setting this up probably later today. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them now. I'm going to set it up myself. I'm excited that I got the time capsule version because it adds in and a wireless hard drive so I can back up all my junk to it and back up my family's stuff to it. So really excited. Again, if you have any questions, post them below. I'll answer them. Candy Vin the Gadget God. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, everybody.